Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. It's me alone. I'm going to let y'all know. Uh, good friend. Known this motherfucker since I was like 12. Oh, God, yeah. This made me realize there's a picture of my, my seventh grade picture when I was 12 is circulating now on the internet. I sent it to one person I know has passed it around, but... He messaged me the other day. He's like, hey, look, I got some stuff for you. He goes, I got some wrestling stuff I'm sending to you. You can sell at your table. He goes, but I got a bunch of comics I'm getting rid of. He goes, I got a big ass box coming. He goes, I think it's about 10 pounds. So this reused box, as you can see, popped up today. And I pull out. He's like, I want you to open it all up on video. He goes, the, the wrestling stuff to sell, that's what it should be on top. Pull it out, put it to the side. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to open this up and let you see. Oh, whoa. Shout out to the original, the real Double T. It's <sighs> fucking bags full of comics. There's four of them in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Give me a second. All right. Got four big-ass bags full of comics. So I'm just going to start on the left, so I'm just going to show you what it... Top comment. This is Carney by Johnson and Flan. Again, I think that's the two friends... Uh, it's issue four. It's two friends of Kevin Smith. We've got a Swamp Thing issue, which I think I have. It's 129. It's from, like, 93. Pit number four. That looks like it's bad anymore. And then I just recently got some of these. So this is issue three. Let's say original Double T, man. Thank you. You know what my tastes are. So give me a second. I'm going to just open up one of these and start going through it. All right. I'm back. So we got Carney. Issue four from IDW. Spawn number 30. Okay, that's kind of cool. I was not reading Spawn, but then Spawn number 14. Okay. Lobo Blazing Chain of Love. This is that one shot. I had this, but I don't think I have it anymore. The Demon vs. Lobo. Uh, Alan Grant, Val Semeckis, Bob Smith. Okay. Lobo Portrait of a Victim, number one. This is going to be Kabuki Classics, number two. Lobo's Back, number three. Lobo Infanticide. Lobo number two, Un-American Gladiators. Lobo number one, Un-American Gladiators. Lobo's back. Hey, it's the penis cover. That's that one. It's this one. Right there. Fucking penis. See that sign right next to it. Oh, Lady Death. I never... Oh, a little dinged up, but that's cool. Another Lady Death. Lady Death Lingerie Special number one. Oh, God. Oh, double T. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to set the camera down. I ain't going to pause. I'll talk. That, that's neat. The Lobo stuff would be cool to read. He did tell me that a lot of this stuff was stuff that he couldn't, like, give to his younger siblings and cousins. <laughs> so, let's see what we got here. Swamp Thing 129. Swamp Thing 132. Swamp Thing 137. I think I've got that one. Swamp Thing 134. Okay. I mean, any Swamp Thing's great. 140, who's writing it? Grant Morrison's writing it this time. Nancy Collins. Another one on 129, so that's a duplicate. Butcher Knight, number two from Image. Top Cow. Butcher Knight, number one. Butcher Knight, number three. Butcher Knight, number four. Okay. CVO, Covert Vampiric African Blood. CVO, Covert Vampiric Operations, number three. Vampirella, 25th Anniversary Edition. Okay, that'll be nice. Vampirella, number 12. Violent Messiah's Lamenting Pale. That's just back up. Violent Messiah's Lamenting. Stoker's Dracula, Giordano, and Thomas. Hmm. That looks interesting. The Stand, okay. Dark Tower. It's not one I've read. Dark Tower. It's not one I've read. Another Stand. Those are always welcome. Uh, the original Double T. The real Double T. Not the original. The real knows knows me very well he knows i love me some stephen king stuff and at the stand and the dark tower are like two of my favorite things so. all right i got pit number four the max number eight animal man 85 animal man 86 animal man 60 animal man 59 i own every all these already but cool i can trade them off somebody that's a great is that a brown bowling cover yeah, look at this great fucking brown bowling cover. It's when um, Animal Man's wife gets, like, lost in New York. Max, issue seven. Pit number one. Hell yeah. Spawn the Impaler number two. That is a badass looking cover. Spawn 72. Spawn 112. Mark Millar on Flash 141. Okay, it's the end of the story. 
Flash, Joker's last laugh, that's Jeff Johns. Flash 168, that's Jeff Johns. Flash 82, that's Mark Wade. Grindle 39, I don't remember having this one. I got a lot of Grindles, but I don't remember now. Grindle 12, I think I have. Grindle Tales, number one. Okay, War Child, I've got a full run of that. What's this on the bottom? Grindle 17. Okay. Got one more to go through. And I'm going to pick a couple of these out just to flip through when I get through here, because... This is going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Okay, these. Oh, okay. I guess I'll flip them that way. That'll work. Electro Assassin, number three. I don't think I had it. Elemental's number eight. I don't remember that cover. Ooh, Evil Ernie, Straight to Hell, one of five. Never read a lot of Evil Ernie. The fuck is this? Hellraiser, number nine. There's probably more than one cover, so that is a badass cover. Ooh, shit. Another, another Hellraiser, Hellraiser 11. This is the Boom Hellraiser shit. Hellraiser 6, Hellraiser 5. I've read some of this. Another Hellraiser, it's Hellraiser 6. Hellraiser 7, Hellraiser 6. Hellraiser 5, Hellraiser 4. Okay. Ashley Wood does good art, but I'm not a big Metal Gear person, but there's some Metal Gear solids. Like three different issues. The Path. Okay, another cross gen. I always like cross gen. CSI Crime Scene, Investigation number four. Spawn number two. Wow. Yeah, put that to the side. That's one I want to flip through. <laughs> it's been a while. Vengeance Spider Man. Jim Arena. Hellhounds issue. Oh, Hellhounds issue one. Hellhounds issue two. Hellhounds issue four. Green Arrow number one. Oh, shit. Yeah, put that to the side. Green Arrow 32. Grill still on it. Darkness Collected Edition. Okay. And an Electra. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to pull a few out of the rest of these stacks. I'm going to go through all this shit. Be back in a few. Right, I picked out a handful of these just to flip through. This card he caught my eye. It's uh, Walt Flanagan and Brian Johnson. They're Kevin Smith hanger owners. Brian Johnson writes Walt Flanagan, draws it. Uh, it's number four. I understand Mr. So it's just kind of like horror gore. Art ain't horrible in this. I apologize if there's anything that pops up you don't want your kids seeing because there's probably going to be in here. Yeah. Lady Death. What issue is this? It says 94. When did Lady Death start? Give me a sec. I think. One to say Lady Death. Yeah. Lady Death started in like, I became a thing like in 94 is when she hit. That's Lady Death. It's number four from what I can find on the inside. It's Adam. It's a Hughes cover. Is that Stephen Hughes? Probably. Brown Polito, Stephen Hughes. Yeah. This is number four. Four. This is the Lady Death number one. Broken Heart. Broken Heart in Hell. Okay. It looks pretty nice. I've never read much of this chaos stuff. I know it was huge for a while. Then all of a sudden it just, they bottomed out. I don't know what happened. Did they just... Expand too much. I'm like, Lady Death ain't even owned by them anymore. I don't think any of it really is. This is the lingerie one, of course. Do we get anybody worth a fuck? Jim Ballant. Joe Lisner. Joe Casada and Jimmy Pagliani. Justiniano. Yeah. That Mitch Bird. Hey, Mitch Bird. Number, the page seven. I have to remember that. I like Mitch Bird. Balsamacus. Okay, yeah. Kirk Lindo, okay. Stephen Hughes, David Mack, Mike Wolfer, Wood, Stephen Butler, 21. And they're not numbered, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's Mitch Bird. That's nice. And then 21 was so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, I would guess. That's nice, though. 16, 17, 18. That, 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 19. 20, 21. That's Barry Blair. Now, they're not bad. I mean, it's just pinup art. And they were charging a fortune for this issue, I'm sure. I mean, I remember when it was actually worth something. Yeah, this is, it was 2 dollars back then. 
Hey, this Stoker Dracula looks nice. Roy Thomas did your genre. Originally serialized in Dracula lives five through eight. Okay, so this just Okay, so this is just a reprint now. That's what I thought it was. It's on better paper. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, that's always kick ass to find stuff like that. Like I didn't know that existed. This Vampire All 25th Anniversary Special Caught my I'm so do a quick little flip through. Frazetta, Ackerman. Hey, Ackerman and um, Marks Texier did some work. Grant Morrison, Michael Bear, Kevin Nolan, Warren Ellis, Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, James Robinson, Roy Lego. Psh. Comics are a bitch to flip through one handed. Okay. It's bowling animal, man. I just remember it looking really nice. Because it's not bowling on the inside. It's a. Uh... Shit, I don't remember. This is when they're living on the farm. It's Jamie, Delano, uh, Jamie Delano's run, and John Higgins is the artist by this time. And uh, Tanya Wood is the colorist. Really fucking good colors. Remember that in the Spin Doctors? If you don't feel terminally funky, you need to check up. The Spin Doctors are actually something. It's a really, really great series that I think they've actually published all of it in trade. Now, pit number one. Give me a second. I got to open this up. I'm sure this is taped. Yep. Cracks me about the stuff that's actually bagged and boarded in here. It's stuff that probably got put in a bag and board right off the shelf and probably has not been open. Pit number one, ripping first issue. And of course, Dale Kim. Brian Houghton is the writer. Chance Wilson, letter Joe Chieto, Ghost Colors, Sam Keith, and Stump some real good. Pit was one of those. I liked the art. It just it came out so late and the story took so long to get anywhere. I just gave up really quick on it. And now that's pretty much all out. I don't think Ken was ever say he's gonna work on it again. I pulled out the spawn just because I hadn't seen any, I hadn't looked at the spawn since Okay, it was what? 19 and 20 didn't come out in time and like McFarlane just put out 21 and they came out a little bit later. When that happened, I just said fuck it and gave up. I might find an issue here and there after that, but Small is just one of those I'm not even looking at. So we got Plots, Brian Hogan, and Tommy Farland, Stories, Brian Hogan, Pencils, Angel Medina, Danny Meeky. Wow. Three people in a studio inking this shit. Wow. Hover Greg Capullo. I like this paper it's on. It's like the paper that Vertigo Prints are tr printed their trades on, so it's not all super shiny. Art's nice. Small's one of those, I, if there's a cheap, affordable way to sit down and read big chunks of it, I would. Darkness Collected Edition. This is... Darkness always... That's Mark Silverstreet, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Fucking Green Arrow number one. The Grell Run. I mean, look at this. You got Grell writing and illustrated by Ed Hannigan and Dick Giordano. Because Grell could not do a monthly series. But this was such a great series. Honestly, I would like to see... Because I know the Arrow shows ending. I would like to see, you know... Based on this series, at Green Arrow show, you know, the older Ollie, he ain't using the trick arrows, all that shit. I'd love it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not a huge fan of Arrow. And then Spawn number two, because I actually remember buying this off the newsstand and at the comic shop. Like, I couldn't get to the comic shop the day it came out, but I was in Food World grocery store and I had a copy center. I was like, well, fuck, I'll go ahead and buy it and read it now. I'll buy enough. And now I think, like, the I it's something like the UPC versions are harder to get home of. And this is what McFarlane's doing everything. This is still decade Steve Ditko. Still coming out from Malibu. This is July of 92, so probably what, May? That's probably right when I was getting out of high school is when all this started up. And of course, these news anchors that, you know, I never realized this shit. Does somebody point out these are news anchors from like uh, Dark Knight Returns, pretty much. Excuse me. That's when he finds out he can come back to be a human, but he's a white man. Is there a post? This one does not seem to have a post. Oh, shit. I would have totally love that Robotex t-shirt. Uh, da, da, da. One size fits all. Yeah, you ain't never met me. I'm tall and a little bit heavier than I should be. Leather stocking by Mike Grell. I don't think anything ever came out of that. I wish it did. Rick and Leonardo and Scott Williams doing a spawn pin up. All right, well, man. Real double T, I appreciate it, man. I, I didn't count. Somebody's asked how many, because I told somebody earlier, I was like, hey, man, I got 10 pounds of comedy. How many comments? Like, I don't fucking know. I'm guessing there's about 100 here. But, yeah. Whew. Tell you what, I'm going to do, do a giveaway. Because I don't know when this video is going up, but 
I'm gonna sit down and count how many comics this is once I turn the camera off. In the comments, put how many comics you think it is. And as long as you're in Canada, the US, let's just say US right now because postage outside the United States is a bitch. Actually, you know what? No, fuck that. I'll say Canada too because I know I've got some viewers up in Canada. Put it in there and I will definitely send that swamp thing I know I got a duplicate of and a couple other things I know I got duplicates of out of this to you for free. So, you know, leave a comment, subscribe, give me that thumbs up, all the other shit. Thank you, Original Double T, the real Double T, Mr. Tory fucking Tate. I appreciate it, sir. Laters.